，有上进心。哎呦，哎呦，哎呦，哎呦，哎呦，哎呦，够狠的！哎呀，这个。You're gonna be so sorry. I swear I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. I swear I'm gonna miss you. So you want to run out of the house? No, 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 no. I swear, I swear, I'm not going to run away. I swear to God, I'm not going anywhere because you're going. No, I said, get inside. 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 You want me to kill you? Yeah? I'm going. I'm going. Come on, get get up and come inside. Yeah. Before I kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you are you mad? Jacob, 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 remember, remember that you promised. Me. Remember that you promised God. You said you would love and cherish me. Jacob, I am carrying your child because I am innocent. I didn't do anything. I did not do anything. Please. Come on, get inside. Please. You think I don't know you're carrying my child? Tonight. Get up! I will deal with you tonight. Check up the door. Check up the door. Check up the door. I don't listen to you. I am going to kill you tonight if you don't start talking. Start talking now. Who is Michael? Oh, Michael, Michael is nobody to me now. I'm not having anything to do with Michael. He's always calling to check up for me. There's nothing else. Oh, really? He's always calling to check up on you. He's always calling to check up on you. Now, how will you explain all those pictures he sent to you? Exposing his chest and looking all that sexy. He's calling to check up on you. If you don't start talking to me, if you don't start talking to me, I will kill you right here. Oh Everyone knows that I've never cheated on you, man. I have never cheated on you. You're still keeping the truth away from me? I will kill you right here and right now and nobody will see your corpse. Right here and right now you will die in my house. You will understand anything as long as it makes you happy it's perfect for me uh, yeah dad you know what i have always known that the both of you would make a great impact in my company of course <laughs> um winnie here did a very wonderful job yes i was just there beefing at no fridge <laughs> Without you, this wouldn't have been a success. Well, 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 I, I give it to the both of you. You've done perfectly well. Um, you know what, Winnie? Yes, sir. From my personal accounts, I am making a transfer of two million naira to your account. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I'm for you, Sam. Don't worry, Dad. No, I'm fine. I, you kind of want to surprise you. No, 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 I'm fine. No, I'm okay. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's okay. Uh, 
Congrats. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, Chief. Um, I have to. I have to go back to the office now. I have some facts to things to. Okay. So okay. Come along, yeah. Oh, All right. <laughs> Say it more. All right. Bye. Yeah. That girl is jealous. Of course she is, Dad. You're looking at that. Oh, Mom, Dad. Yes, sir. You need to take rest. Let me go fresh now. Very long day. So your face. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, so. call me as soon as the food is ready. I will, son. You know, I no, don't you understand. Don't know what I don't understand, but you make me. Your job money, job money. Please call in. Ah, good evening. Evening. You must be um, Mr. Jacob, Isabella's husband. Yes. Ah. And um, how may I help you? My name is Michael. Michael Obasi. Okay, okay. Please do sit down. Thank you. So, Mr. Michael, how may I help you? Um, well, due to your wife's condition, we approved that she worked from home, but it looks like she skipped work. Is she in? Um, Mr. Michael. I know you are my wife's colleague. So tell me what exactly do you want? Okay, thank you for your time. Well, there was this document she was supposed to attend to and she promised to attend to it before seven this morning. It's evening and she is offline and we can't even reach her on the phone. I hope everything is all right. As you can see, she is not at home. So I will tell her that you came. Um, that's all right. Well, please do tell her that I sent more modeling pictures on her phone. I'm glad she likes the ones that I sent previously. Oh, oh do have a good day. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jacob. Oh, okay, Mr. Michael. Thank you for your time. It's all right. It's all right. I don't. What have my anger led me to? I can't even find my wife. I don't even know what happened to her that night. Here, here he is, talking about modeling pictures. That means I'm accusing this woman wrongly. What will I tell the police or, or our friends? I... Isabella, please, wherever you are, please come back. Please, please, I'm down on my knees. Please come back, Isabella. Hi. Winnie, what is your problem? I mean, what is your problem in that company? I don't understand. How can you say you don't need money? Who doesn't need money? What do you want? A G-Wagon for thanks for working oil and gas comp 
Oh, what? What do you want? I want to be part of Chief Johnson's family. Listen, I don't even mind getting married to one of its sons, Leo or Fred. That's all I want. You are so unbelievable. At least I said my mind. Listen, if I can get married into Chief Johnson's family, all my life problems are solved, including that of my fourth generation. Girl, these people are eating money. I mean, money. Don't worry, you understand. Me. Listen, darling, don't even say this to the hearing of Jerry, your boyfriend. Who's that? You know he was king your life. Sorry? Focus on what is focused on you. Come again. Take your eyes from what doesn't belong to you before you put yourself into trouble. Yeah. Okay. It's bad for kissing for him, right? Don't worry. He's very unserious. He's busy doing lover boy. Who has time for that? Is he love out it's no. What's wrong with you? Don't worry, you will soon realize that we're not on the same level, okay? Don't stress yourself. Jerry. Yes, you will soon realize that. <sighs> okay. Keith, I am not saying she's, she is not a dedicated secretary to you. But what I am trying to say here is that too much of accolades makes things sideways. Woman, money is good. And when someone is good on her job, you appreciate her. You call it a colleague or whatever. Women will always get something from me. I wish our son Fred will understand why I paid the both of them for the business. <laughs> Chief Ortega. <laughs> I have defeated Chief Ortega. My heart can now rest. <laughs> yes. I don't just want assume. I don't want assume. Well, for you, go ahead. Hmm. My son will exercise his freedom to decide who he likes. At this one, we're talking about very different genders. Anyway, we know that Fred is in a serious relationship with a, with a woman from South Africa. And both of them have done something outrageous for the relationship to be saved. Well, woman, I don't know what you are trying to say. All I know is that my reputation must not go down. I mean, Wemi is how you are pushing things up for us. Whatever it takes to keep her in the family business, that I must do. Case close. Okay, Alpha. What happened? Um, you sounded so odd. Jerry. And why are you drinking? Jerry. Jerry, I am about to die. What do, what do you mean by you're about to die? What happened? And where is your wife? Wait, who even wants you dead? Jerry, I. I don't know how to say this. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, my guy, where's your wife? Huh? Jerry, I don't know. I don't know where my wife is. Don't know, what, what, what do you mean you, you don't know where your eight months pregnant wife is? What, what, what? Are you, are you normal? Huh? What are you saying? Wait, Jacob. Don't tell me you beat her again. And this time she decided to punish you by running away. 
Isabella wouldn't have run away that fateful night. Why? Huh? Why do you keep beating your pregnant wife? Jacob, I have begged you times with that number. Stop beating her. But you don't want to listen. Huh? Oh, God. So, have you, um, at least reported to the police about this? Jerry, I am so scared. I am very scared. I don't even understand the, the blood stain at the gate that fateful night. Oh God. I don't, I don't, I don't want to assume fearful things. But you should have at least no, go to the police to make an entry. Or check the nearby hospitals. Someone might decide to pick her up and give her a, a bed rest. Jerry, I have checked all the hospitals I know. Even the one I registered her with. But none of them accepted to have my wife in their care. Honestly, I, I don't know. But I keep checking every day. Hey, God. Jerry, I am in a deep mess. Hey! <sighs> Jacob. Jacob, you don't kill me. I'm so, um, 
Have you at least called her friends or her family? Eh? She might decide to want to any of them. Since you have decided to turn her to a punching bag, Jacob. Eh? Since you have started seeing your wife as an animal. Eh? None of them agreed to have had anything from her. I, I, even her friend, uh, Fina. You know that one is a radical. I am very scared of her. I don't know, and she said she have not had anything from her as well. Jacob. Jerry, I am, I am doomed. Jacob. Jacob. Home. Jacob, you need to pray. Jacob, you need to pray because this is serious. Jacob, this is not what you will be telling the police. By the time they realize that you are beating your eighth most pregnant wife, Jacob. Eighth most pregnant wife. Jacob, you need help. Um, sir, this, um, this file is one heck of a thousand troubles and oh. I really don't know how to go about it. From TJ on the last meeting? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Just go out with it. Wow. That's really kind of you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Really? Yes, sir. What about dinner tonight? Yeah, why not? Um, when she comes back, let her know that I came around to check up on her, okay? I will. Alright, um, good night. Good night. Drive safe, okay? I will. Oh. Thank you. Okay. This guy is not happy. Winnie. I hope you like this place. Sure. Mm. Winnie. Yes. I want to personally appreciate you for your hard work and obedience in the company. Okay. You see, my father will be retiring very soon as the CEO, and my brother will be coming into the country to take over. So. I want you to continue working with the management in the same manner you worked with my father. Oh, that's not a problem. Thank you very much. <laughs> At all. Um, is, that, is that why we're here? Yes, that's why we're here. To appreciate you. Oh, to talk about this. Uh, yes. Uh, wow. Well, um, I think. Well, it, it's <laughs> it, it's cool. <laughs> it, it's cool to talk about official matters all the time. You're right. Yeah. So, shall we? Sure. <laughs> Baby girl. 
Oh, so how was your date? What's that? <laughs> you look at that in date. Huh? Is that date? <laughs> what happened? Rita, it was as if... Oh God. This guy just... He was talking about his father's retirement, how his elder brother is going to come back to take over. You know, like, I've heard this thing more than a million times now. Eh? Sweetheart, you need to calm down with these people. Come on! Focus on your job. Is that too difficult for you to do? Anyway, Jerry was here a few hours ago. Did you tell him where I went to? I'm mad. That guy looks so worried. I think you need to go see him. Huh? I beg. Peter, I beg, I beg. I just go to beg you. You see me right now. I have a lot on my head. And Jerry is the least. Did you cook? I don't understand you. You're coming back from a dinner at him. Rita, I, I told you that he's, he's like, I practically went to another board meeting. So I lost my appetite. What am I? Every time I'm in the office, I'm talking about I know that. I'm done. It's fine. Do you have food? Calm down. There's food. Good. Go help yourself. Thank you. There you Yes. Isabella is missing. Jacob's wife? She, she's been missing for days now. For days? How? How did that happen? I guess um, she had a little altercation with Jacob. Then she ran out of the house. Oh, the strange part of this story is that Jacob said he saw blood in front of the building. But he couldn't see Isabella or anybody. This is strange. Has he reported to the police? That dude is too scared to even involve the appropriate authorities. That's my problem with him. He can't be scared. This is his wife missing. This is serious something, not something to be scared. I just... Well, I hope he finds her. Oh. Good day. Good day. Um, may I come in? Sure. Thank you. The company is really worried about your wife. Uh, sit down, sit down. We want to know her whereabouts. My wife traveled to her village. She went to see her grandmother. And probably she might deliver them. Um, Mr. Michael, I am so sorry if my wife has been absent from your company's Zoom meetings. Um, is there a contact to reach her? Perhaps to call and know how she is doing? Sure. Just give me a minute, okay? All right. Zero eight zero three five double four six one eight four. All right, um, thank you for your time once again. It's fine, Mr. Michael. Thank you. I will see you around, okay?
that the vacuum the the proposal we are set to partner with them on the project. Good. Very good. This is a good news. Yeah. Um, so Chief, should we go ahead and hope this is your retirement? No. Not now. Thank you. Take my first call. Do not come back first. Thank you, I'm fine.
Hi, Chief. He's getting better. I don't know. It's all right. Thank you so much. Um, I can, I can help you. I can help you with the, the files if you're not concentrating. Beautiful in your outfit. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And uh, uh, please dress properly when coming to my office next time. I'm sorry, sir. You're welcome. Anyways, I'll handle the files. Okay. I'll take care of them. Thanks for your concern. All right. I'll be in my office. All right. And he said, oh, you look good in your dress. But Winnie, don't dress like this to my office again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. Um, uh, Winnie, you know what? Just pause this IGN trick of yours. It's not working. Focus on your relationship with Jerry. Well, you Pause it out. Mr. Jacob, the number you gave is not connecting. According to the service provider, it has not been used for some time now. Oh, I, I am sorry. Maybe I gave you her old contact. I'm sorry about that though. Well, I shall be going to the village tomorrow. Tomorrow morning to be precise. Then I will tell her that you have been coming. All right then, please um, extend my greetings. We will be expecting her safe delivery. All right, Mr. Michael. She will hear your greetings. Okay then, I beg to take my leave now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guy, I 
don't understand you. What game are you playing? Say, Jerry, I don't know what to say or do right now. And evil thoughts keep flooding my head. Guy, if I may advise you, I will tell you to calm down and involve the police. Jacob, the police will help you and find your wife. And stop all this your dirty game that you play. Because you're becoming worse. Hi. for my brother that I want to see him. It's okay. I accept. But you're not going to scare me with you inviting your brother over here. Thank you. Thank you. We may go. Thank you. Yes, son. Wow. Chief, business is going fine. I want my son to rest. And the doctor said that you should rest too. Don't worry. Are you okay? Excuse me. Come. Come. Sit down. Come. Don't mind your mother. She's an illiterate. And she doesn't know anything about business. Dad. Yes. Well, I'm happy you are coping with the business. Thank you, Dad. One more thing, son. Okay. Whatever you're doing, make sure you carry the family business on your shoulder. I came to check up on you. I am exhausted and need to retire to bed. You want to go and meet your mother, right? You hate taking advice from me. What do you want, Dad? Make her to stay permanent with the company. Who? When you're my secretary. Of course, she's, she's going nowhere. She's there to stay. I mean, she, she, has, she has been there and... Yeah. Well, you won't, you won't know what I'm talking about now. You may go. I want to take my sleep. Good night. Good night, son. Yes, my husband. And he wants to see me immediately. With immediate effect. He said you should come immediately. As a matter of fact, if you can, with me, you'll be happy. Mm. Yeah. Mama. Um, what if I come first thing tomorrow morning? Eh? Tell him I will come first thing tomorrow morning. Oh? Okay. I think he, he can wait. I can wait, yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, I think I should be on my way now. Immediately. Immediately. He said I should come back immediately, if possible, with yourself. Hey. <laughs> immediately, guy. <laughs> come immediately. Go immediately. You know your brother. You know your brother. That's how he does. It's all right. I will be there first thing tomorrow morning. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I will deliver your message to him. Thank you. This is the first life in, in a while. Uh, <laughs> bye bye bye. So well, thank you so much. Thank you, my husband. Thank you.
Ja. <laughs> yes. That was why I called you to inform you that uh, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll be traveling to see him. And you said Mr. Johnson is sick? Ha! That was uh, what the wife told me. And you know, he's my only brother. I have to go and see him. I can't stay here and be uh, waiting for any other person to, to tell me what to do. First thing in the morning, any whatever means, I am there. Huh? All right, then. Yeah. You have to go see him. Definitely. You really have to. Definitely. Oh. He is the only brother I have, oh, and he doesn't joke with me. Right from our childhood days. Eh? You know, he, he went to school. Mm. That's why he has one. But me, during our school days, mm. I had a bull like Hey, there is this uh, lad, he said he wants to help me and develop. So I maybe he's even one of the things. <laughs> Dad is very sick. You have to come back. I am serious, Leo. No excuses this time. Yes? He's worried about you. The more reason you have to make yourself available. It's all right. Bye. Um, officer, according to my friend here, he had a little misunderstanding with his wife. You know, husband and wife mm -hmm. had a misunderstanding. So, which resulted to the wife leaving the house. Okay. A few minutes later, he, my friend, got out from the house, but discovered um, his wife was nowhere to be found. Well, it's painful or the worrisome thing about this whole grammar is that he said that he saw blood stain in front of his house but he couldn't find his wife so officer i think this is a worrisome situation i mean the the blood and the disappearance of the wife hmm. sorry when exactly did this incident happen Last week at about 9 p.m. Yeah. Last week? I don't get you. That's a week already. Yes, officer. So what stopped you from reporting to the police station? Um, officer, the, the thing there is that he felt that the wife ran to one of her friend's house here in the city. Oh. But um, that didn't happen because when we accosted them, they, they said, They've never seen her or spoken to her since. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Um, we'll take it up from here. Okay. And please, uh, Mr. Jacob, right? Yeah, officer. Um, please, you'll take me to see her friends so that I can start the investigation proper. Officer, that is not a problem. If no. possible, right away. If you, yeah, we can. I don't know. Come on. You sent for me. Yes, um. Make sure that door is locked. I am very sure now. Oh, hey. Good. Let's sit. I should sit down. Sit down, can. Yeah, it is now. Hey, I'm going there. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm going there. 
This food is very, very strong. I got net. I can't get an apple If you're on top of this and there, uh, <laughs> you are doing a better press up. Ay, ay, ay! Ay! You man will just be saying, Ay! Yeah, I'm not going to mind. Baby, me, baby, 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 I think at this age of yours, there are certain things you have dropped. Uh, all these uh, jokes all the time. Everything is not joke. Uh, I got near. To be frank, I need this, uh, this is your type, this type of food in the village. Uh, the one I have in the village. When I was you. I'm always having waste pain, I'm telling you. Eh? What with this? Hi! <laughs> this is called action speaks louder than words. <laughs> Hi! Oh my god. <laughs> you sent for me. That is true. Now you, you are back to your senses. Yes, I sent for you. Kano, I am going. Eh? Going was. Going to where? You are here with me. My only brother going to where? Ba. You know what? I don't say it again. You are not going anywhere. You know what? Can, can no. Eh? Do you still remember those days we were boys and the scouts? I got the idea of people leave. You do remember this? those days when we were scouts. <laughs> Do you remember that? That catapult I was using that time that got lost. It was um, this um, uh, Ekene. Ekene was the one that stole it. <laughs> Ekene stole it that time. Ah! Do you remember that time we went for that camp uh, making hill, uh, making hill, uh, that I fell from the tree? I'm going to check my I broke my leg, but I was trying to do strong person, strong person as a scout boy. Ah, those days, I wish one can just go back to when we were small. <laughs> Scout, I'm hey, It was Scano. a very beautiful experience. Hmm? You still remember the secret? 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 Oh, <laughs> I do. I remember. I remember the secret. Remind me the secret. I go near. I say I remember the secret. I Remind me the secrets again, Kano. Okay, I should tell you. Um, um, you don't need to forget such. I need that for me. That is rape. Rape. You raped your wife, your present wife today, when she was a young girl. But it turned out that today she's your wife now. Has anybody heard about that? Oh. That I raped my wife with a mask on my face? From me or from you? If it's from me, nobody. Eh? But it is not a crime, it's not something bad. That you raped your wife, somebody, and later she became your wife. It is not bad because to me, it was that uh, love that made you to, to rape her. Uh, if it's, uh, just to climb her. To have the first experience, it was introduction. Today now, two of you are enjoying the same, <laughs> the same look and do, and uh, both of you are married. It is a good thing. On this you feel anybody that says you say crime, that person is mad. That person is completely mad. But uh, I go there. Why are you taking us back to past memories? Why are you remembering them now? Cano. <laughs> Trust you more than my wife and children. Uh, there is something I want to tell you. But you have to first put your hand on your chest. I swear by our late parents that what I am about telling you, you keep it secret and do what I said. I got now. Is serious, so get out of eh? And uh, while I was coming, I left the bag of secret in the village. I didn't come with it. Are you sure I can do this? Eh? 
I'm my only brother. I can do anything for you. I will take the secret here. When I get home, I'll put it inside the bag and firm them out. Can you? Eh? You're an old man now. Now you have to do away with all this childish joke we used to know you with. This is serious. Eh? And I'm serious. Let me do what you ask me to do. Um, I swear by the name of our late parents, Onochi and uh, Urima, anything you tell me, I will confidently keep it a secret for you. Once I live here, I will carry it, put it in my bag of secrets, and turn them out. Nobody will hear it. What do you want? Good. Does this smart and brilliant girl in my company? Hey, Chalo. Chalo, Chalo. You like it, I mean, did you use your finger? You know you like finger. Come on, no, enough of all this joke. We are here for serious issue. Okay, she's pregnant for you. Or Dime, is she pregnant? Yes, even if you want, I can take her to the village. She will stay there and deliver. Nobody will know. Mother, eh? mother, mom, call. It's my son. Yeah, then one. Kano. Kano. Eh? How many times did I call you Kano? We're here for important issue. Mm. Very important. Um, she's very smart and. Brilliant. Better. What is better? She's the pen and also the reliever. Can I want to make sure you make this happen? Make sure that one of my sons marry her. If Fred refuses to marry her, make sure you none do not refuse. Did not answer me. Let me know the exact position of this girl. If she's pregnant, are you saying your children should marry her with the pregnancy to cover the secret? If she's not pregnant, how can you be telling me you want one of your children to marry her? Even Leonard Maggie, your first son, whom you know very well and has a wife and children. In a bro, how can you enforce a woman? I'm available if you want somebody to marry her. I can marry her. Can the exit of that girl in my company will jeopardize my company reputation. She's the pen and she's the reliever. Uh, you see, that girl is like a source of light page on this crew too. Sitting this earth with regret. This is serious. What exactly is the secret you want to confine in me? You are going nowhere. Hey, officers, this man has to be arrested. This man has to provide my best friend, Isabella. This man has the guts to call me on the phone asking me of Isabella's whereabouts. Your pregnant wife left your home at an ungodly hour. And you had the guts to call me asking me of her whereabouts. Your pregnant wife, whom you're supposed to know of her every move. Jacob, you must be joking. And I'm going to show you my real color. Madam, please calm down. No, please. Officers, do not tell me to calm down. Do not. You know, Initially, I thought he was joking. This man is a beast. Yes. He beats! Oh my gosh. He beats and assaults Isabella anyhow! Jacob, do you remember what I told you the last time I came to your house? The last time you assaulted her. Do you remember? Do you? I'm sure you do. Now the time has come. Yes. It has come. I will show you my real self. Wait for myself and other lawyers. But then pray. 
pray you finally find her. Yes. Else, you know like what I'll do to you. Now, take this thing out of my house. I never want to see your ugly face again. Get out! Madam, please, calm down. Look, we're only here to ask a few questions, that's all. Okay? I understand the magnitude of what's going on here. But please, I beg of you, just a few questions and we're out, okay? Officers, I am a lawyer by profession. A brutal one for that matter. Now, take this beast out of my house, else I will charge you for conspiracy and intuition. Get out! Uh, that's fine. Uh, Get out! Mr. Jacob, shall we? Get out! Jacob! It's okay. Get out, officer! It's okay. Leave my house! Leave my house! Have a nice day, ma'am. Son, your uncle's visit to this house this time around does not tell well. There is something he wants you or your brother to do. I am still reading towards it. The picture is still not very clear in my head. He has to say it or your uncle will do it on his behalf. They can talk for hours. Your uncle and your father are inseparable when it gets to discussion. If that will make him feel better, Uncle Carlo should rather stay with us. No, he can't. Why? He handles your father's property in the village put the hotels and you know about it so he can't stay hello Winnie yeah we need to see and talk yeah well my, my mother is coming all the way from Abuja to come and see me and I need you to be here to cook for her yes what what do you mean by you don't have time? I'm talking about my mother here. You need to be here. You are my woman. You need to be here. You need to cook for her. See, hey, hey, Winnie. Don't listen. Don't make me angry, okay? If you, if you don't do that, who do I, do, do, do I, am I the one that's supposed to cook for my mother? Huh? See, don't, don't, don't provoke me, please. Jerry, I said I will not be chance to come to your house. And I am not seeing your mother. What? See, see, Winnie, listen, listen, you don't need to yell, okay? <laughs> hello, hello? Hello, Winnie? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. So the person I call my girlfriend now has the mind to hang the call on me. <laughs> hey. Hey, Winnie. I'm going to call her again. As if I'm not your house help, I'm not your maid, you're not married to me. Your mother has come, your mother. Why is it my business now? Ah, I beg go. It's not that I will fire you. Yeah, I know you are jobless now. You have time to be calling people. If he's a rich man that has work to do, he will not be wasting time looking for a girl that will come and visit his mother in jails. This nigga, stop calling me now. Stop calling me. Stop calling me. I said I cannot come to your house. What is it, Jerry? Switched off. 
<laughs> eh, <laughs> the number I just called now is now telling me not reachable. Wait, wait, does it mean that Winnie now placed her phone on flight mode? Winnie has the mind to switch off her phone on me. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I'm not gonna take this nonsense. I have to go to her house. <laughs> Stop this. Come on. Stop what? No, leave him. Now let him continue backing like you. Jerry, if you like, bring down this building. I am not stepping an inch out of this house. Rita, can you hear? Can you, can you hear your friend? Rita, check this out. My mother, my own mother is coming to my house. And two days ago, I told her about this. And we had an agreement that she's going to come to the house and make something for her to eat. We, 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 we agreed. Yes, we, we did. At least she can go in. She's not doing whatever she's doing. We are doing, but yes, she is telling me nonsense. Who is telling you nonsense? Okay. Eh? Who, who, who has come over you? Eh? Who, what is wrong with you? Who is trying to foster our relationship? Why? Who you are whose relationship? I am fed up. Yes, Jeremy, I am fed up with you and this your so called relationship. What is it? Winnie! Enough! What? This is Jerry. What's wrong? Who is Jerry? No, who no, is Jerry? No, Rita, allow her to talk. You know how to talk. Keep talking. Keep talking. No, no, no. You don't have to talk. But I don't, I don't blame you. But let me tell you this. I am reuniting with my mother. And it's a thing of joy and happiness to me. So I will not allow you or anyone to ruin this for me. Jerry, son. What's my business if you're reuniting with your mother? Winnie. Huh? I was thinking that as you just enter, you just drag me. Winnie, you must go and then I'll follow you to your house. Why are you telling me you want to reunite with your mother? I, you're a prodigal son and you want to die. Is that my business? I don't blame you. Can't go and reunite with your mother now. Is that my, my, my problem? Winnie, really? I don't blame you. I don't blame you too. Have a good day. You too. Jerry. Jerry. Peace. Jerry. Nonsense. Hey. 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 What is wrong with you? Don't go there. The last time I checked, I did not invite you. I did not. Really? Yes. Yes, it's my ass, girl. Just leave it for me like that. But why would your brother want you to swear that any of his boys should get married to his secretary? Boys of nowadays do no longer fall to such ideas. They pick their wives themselves. Unlike the old days when you can pick up a girl from the village and send her to the city to meet a man she knows nothing about. Mazuz, you are very, very correct. You are right. You see, there is this saying that goes like this. A toad does not jump out on the road on a broad daylight for nothing. It is either that toad is after something or something is after that toad. Yes. So why would he want any of his boys to get married to the secretary in the first place? Mazuzo. You want me to tell you? Yes. Mazuzo, it is for my ears only. This one is family. For family. It's all right if you say so. You are welcome back home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, um, that. Uh, Mm. 
why would my own brother, Chief Johnson Agumwa, commit such a crime? Eh? It's an abominable act. Hmm? Killing a pregnant woman. Hi. Was very bad, very very bad, uh, and now he wants me to keep it a secret. Hi. Will I not be part of this killing if I keep this secret? That no, that I, I, I can't be part of it. I'm just to keep this secret. Hi. How can I convince a Buddha Leo to marry Winnie? This same Winnie, this same Winnie, he committed this crime. But, um, hey. Hey. To speak with Fred. Then I will talk to him. Let me see if I can convince him. I'll try Fred. Maybe he will succumb. After all, it's for the family. For the family. It's for the family. I'll talk to Fred. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. Killing a pregnant woman. Love cute, Marnado. Please, Chief, whatever discussion you had with your brother, Kano, please let it not have any link to our boys. Our children should make decisions of their own. Please. You have collected um, Fred from me. Now only want to call it Ebuka. No. Ebuka is my first son. He will do what I said. He is my first fruits. The strength of my youth. Yes. Please, Chief. This is not what I am saying here. It's not what I am saying. All I am saying is that whatever discussion you had with your younger brother, Kano, should not affect my boys in any way. For goodness sake, we should not allow our children to exercise their own rights in making their own decisions. Please. Because we both agreed to this. As long as it does not affect them in any way or us. I want to be left alone. Selfish desire. It's okay. Desperate I, I will excuse measures. myself. Selfish desire. Desperate measures. The wickedness in the heart of men may prevail But tomorrow will come knocking someday The evil in the heart of men may prevail But tomorrow 
I have this feeling that Isabella's husband is hiding some skeleton in his cupboard. Could it be that he damaged her phone and restricted her from going out to work? That man looks violent to me. Isabella's sudden absence has made me lost a very good bidder. I feel like my career is gradually going down without her around. No, I must get to the root of this. I must do something. What you saw, you shall reap. Hi. Hi. I'm okay. I'm sure you'd be wondering what I'm doing here. Yeah. Well, I just came here to be of help to you. And again, I need you to be patient with me. Okay. Hey, Jerry, you know our boss is critically down, and it's affecting our emotionally. Just. Give her some time. I'm pretty sure she will come around. Do I have a choice? Of course I will. Thank you. You're welcome. So, show me the way to the kitchen. Let me fix up something. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ready. <laughs> wow. This food is yummy. Thank you, ma'am. I like the taste of the food. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Son? Mommy. Mm -hmm. She's good. She's the real woman. <laughs> <coughs> what? Why are you both laughing? Um, no, mom. You, you will not understand, okay? You, you will understand. <laughs> well? I just said my mind. And that's all. Young lady. What is that your name again? I'm Rita Williams. Rita Williams. Yes, ma'am. I think I like you. Ah, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uncle, I cannot drive all the way from the city for you to tell me this nonsense. Eh? Please, I am begging you in the name of God, don't ever call me again because of this. Don't! This is what your father wants. That was his last wish. Have you ever asked me my wish? Do you know my wish? This is my personal life we're talking about here. Fred, is a wish. Eh? Let me make you on wish. I'm telling you about your father's wish and you are here telling me about your own wish. Who, who, who say you, you, you? Who, why would you even have any wish? Look at this mobile. So you are standing here, opening, you are sitting down here, opening mouth for me. Look at this mobile that he, when they bring you into this house, you will see literature everywhere. No one around. And you are here now telling me. Do you know how, how you messed my house up? Eh? 
because you are grown now. Yes, uncle, you can say whatever you want to say. It's none of my business. I have told you I will not have this conversation with you or any member of this family again. Okay. I am leaving. Where do you think you are going? Oh, you are walking out of me, eh? You are I am going out. You that to me. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that your father was up to something. Mother, what I don't understand is the reason my uncle is asking me to get married to win. I never expected this from anyone. Not to talk of my own father instigating the whole thing. Son, I told you, your father is a very smart man. He wants to make his personal secretary a member of this family. He wants to make her a member of our company by relation. <sighs> See, son, I am not against you getting married to her or not. What concerns me here is anyone making a choice for you of who to marry or not. You should be able to make a choice by yourself. Especially when it concerns the things of the heart and marriage. Really? Yeah. Good. Let him come back. Let him come back and meet your father. He needs to know about all of this. Maybe when he is back, your father will have a change of heart of, of all this that is happening because I don't understand anything of it. Let him come back. I'm expecting him sincerely. My son, Please take your drink and calm down. It will be okay, okay? It will be fine. I knew your father was up to something when he was busy telling you that I am an illiterate. You shouldn't mind me. You shouldn't listen to me. I knew he was up to something. But it's all good. You know, I don't intend to use force or any legal process beyond this level on you. We may be right or wrong. So tell me. What exactly happened to Isabella, my friend, on the 5th of June at about 9.25 p.m.? You called me on the phone. Asking me of her whereabouts. So tell me what exactly happened. We had an issue. The girls danced and she pushed me on the floor and ran out of the house. Before I could regain myself, 
she has run out of the building. And when I came out, I, I didn't see her and couldn't see anyone. Though I spotted a blood stain in the front of my gate, but I was, I was too focused looking for my wife. That was what really happened. So, what is actually the issue that made her run from the house? I accused her of infidelity. Has she ever cheated on you with facts? No. Jacob, you beat up Isabella and she ran out of the house. True or false? Fina. Answer the very question. Fina, I am sorry. I'm truly sorry. I, I want my wife. I want my family back. You will be truly sorry. Very sorry. If anything, anything goes wrong. My son. Dad? How are you?
Weenie baby. What is it? What's wrong? Winnie, talk to me. What's wrong? Chief is dead. Wow. Oh, darling. It's okay. It's okay. Come, come. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Take care now. Hmm. <laughs> a great tree has indeed fallen. This kingdom has lost a great man. <laughs> Please, our brother, take heart. We cannot question the gods. That is it. But who can in this question? Who can wish <sighs> Officer, this is this is where I spotted the blood. Uh, as you can see, it is still even here. <clears throat> Officer. Take some short of this thing. Madam, I don't have to worry. I will make sure I investigate this case properly. You should. You should, officer. That's enough. Let's go. Sorry about the death of your boss, Chief Johnson. That man was a good man. Okay? Please, accept my condolences, okay? Okay. Um, babe, I, I understand that you're mad. I know you're mad over what happened the last time. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I yelled at you. Alright, I, I, I lost my cool. Please, forgive me, alright? I'm sorry. Okay? Oh, okay, um, since that's what you want, I will, I will just go. Alright, I will see you later, okay? I know we both are wounded in this, but I want you to understand me. I am not saying that Jacob is right in assaulting Isabella. In fact, I am totally against domestic violence on both genders. But at this point in time, Fina, we do not know who is holding Isabella out there. Jacob is worried. It's killing him. For the sake of the unborn child, please go easy on him. I promise you, he is a changed person now. He has repented. And I will make sure he goes out there and finds his wife. I don't think Jacob is telling the truth. 
He is telling the truth. He is. Hold on. Hold on, I'm coming. Jesus Christ. Isabella, what is this? Come here, come here. Oh my goodness. Is what is this? Isabella. My word. Who did this to you? What is this? Isabella. Oh my goodness. Who did this to you? Isabella. Talk to me. What is all this? This Jacob. <laughs> Fina Jacob is a beast. Jacob treats me to marry him. Now he beats me without looking back. I am so sorry I kept all of this from you. <laughs> oh my you thought it would change. Isabella! It would change. You mean you have been going through all this and you kept it away from me, your friend? Oh my goodness! Me, your friend! A human rights activist and a lawyer! You're wicked to yourself and to me! Look at you! I'm sorry. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. I, I thought I thought telling you would break my one year marriage. I was scared. I was so scared. Jesus Christ, just stop it. You mean you value your marriage more than your life? Look at how battered you are. Look at you. It's better to kick off this torture you called marriage. Look at you. <laughs> I will leave. But let me have my baby first now. I will definitely take my start. Rafiona, <laughs> if you look for me and you don't see me, or you call me for days and I don't pick up, that Jacob has Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. Jacob don't say that. Stop it. Stop it. Don't say that. Stop it. It's okay. I'm dying. Stop it. You're not. I am going to meet that beast. <laughs> one on one. And I swear. He's going to pay for every blow. Lash and kick. He has given to you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No. It's okay. I am dying. No. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. Let me get something. Let me get you water. Too. Pray nothing happens to Isabella and her born child. Else, Jay will be his abode for the rest of his life. I, I don't, I am so speechless in this. I don't know what to say. Jerry, you see, a lot of women out there undergo this same kind of thing happened to my friend Isabella but they refuse to speak out just because of one flimsy excuse or the other they stay in this thing called marriage and suffer hardship depression psychological trauma all in the name of marriage something they would have just walked out from and stayed alive um, Fina, I, I understand all this things that you are saying but I am sure Jacob, my friend, did not kill his wife. But he's the cause of her sudden disappearance. I, a lawyer friend, and an old schoolmate, are out for Jacob and is going to face the law. 
I swear to you, Jerry. Jacob. Jacob is going to rot in hell. Read my lips. I'm here to see your boss, Mr. Jacob. He's not around. Uh, when is he coming back? I don't know. The authorities came and arrested him four days ago. So since then, he hasn't come back. The authorities? Could it be the police or what? Yes, nah, the police. What's going on? What about the pregnant woman, your madam? Is she okay? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I just resumed work like, last week. So I don't know of any pregnant woman as my madam. Okay. Uh, wh why did the authorities arrest him? What happened? Okay, I beg the, the boys don't too much. Come they go. I won't lock my gate. I beg, come they go. Um, we thank God for a successful funeral of my brother, their husband, and their father. But then, I must tell you, he made a wish before he died. And it's a secret that he confided. He wants that dead wish to be met so that he can have peace and rest in peace. And um, what was the secret confiding in you? Mm, there is nothing more too simple. It is something he wants his first son to do. Simple. Good God, your late father wants you to marry me. His financial and personal aid. That's his wish. Uncle, hmm? you are speaking gibberish. Eh? I said you are talking nonsense. Mama, did you hear what you just said? I don't understand. I am telling you your father's last wish, and you say I'm talking nonsense. Okay, let's see. There is nothing to see. There is nothing to see. Listen, let me tell you, Luka. That remains your father's wish and must be respected. Nobody in this family will go against it or go contrary to it. It must be done. Let me tell you again. Uncle, you don't have the right to tell us that. My father is dead, gone, and buried. <laughs> What are you saying? Fred, I don't want to see that girl in that company premises again. I want her fired with immediate effect. You cannot do that. Uncle, okay, you people think I'm joking, eh? You think I'm joking? My conversation with your father was recorded. If you want to hear it, it is there. I recorded it in case there will be a, a, any doubt. But now I can see that you people want to prove something. Okay, I'm going to teach you people what I want as a boy start. You, 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 you will do nothing. You, will not you, you can't teach us anything, Uncle. Okay. 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 Come back here, we are talking. What is the meaning of this? Mama. this. Like I said, before Chief died, he amended his will. And he told me that if the amended will is not achieved or agreed upon by any of his sons, that I should read the following. And I'll read it. Number one, closing of all his accounts and assets from his two children and wife. Two, that they really have a right to stay in the family house and use anything that is in it. Three, and the last one, 
that I should not read the will to the member of his family. And if the will must be read, that the amendments to Chief Johnson's Argo's will that he appended to before his death must be achieved. That is his instruction. Um, Barrister, what is this thing that my father wants us to agree on or achieve? Mm -hmm. That his son, Abuka Leonard Johnson, must marry Winifred Owakwe legitimately. And Winifred Owakwe happens to be his personal aide and the secretary to his company. Uncle, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you're very smart, eh? So you plan with this child and little brother to force a woman into my life? I beg your pardon. Young man, watch your words. I will tolerate that from you. Hey, look, I love you. Now, if the both of you should know that would be all my body, you will have to cut my head and get to that secretary to marry. I am married in London with three kids. My father will bless my wedding, so I'm not getting married to anybody. I will not be a body in this. I will not. You get it? I will not. And as for you, charge a bill, lawyer. The next time I invite you to this house and you don't come my father's way, I will shoot you in the head. Oh, Hmm? You cannot even put a fly. Hmm? He's talking about you, you Um. The most I had to be social. You don't have a choice of the matter. You better talk to your son. The first wife is the one. Oh my God. Who knows if they are going to come? Do you know that he gets married to somebody here at home? Um, sadly, my daughter, you're the bone of contention in my family now. My late husband speaks highly of you. He has always believed that you are the engine that moves the company forward. And so, does not want to lose you. But I beg you, my daughter, to please counter his last words. Ebuka, my son, is married to a white woman. And Fred took a blood oath with South African fiancé. And you, I know, is in a serious relationship. So I beg of you to please just say the word. Just say that you're not going to marry any of my sons. And I swear to you that this company will always be your office. Please. Come, Mom. Ma, this will be hard for me to do. My father said it's a taboo not to respect the wish of the dead. And it is a taboo to get married to you. Why are you being so myopic? Wait, let me ask you this. Are you that desperate to become a second wife? With all due respect, I will not take that insult from you. Rubbish. What? Can you, can you just see what just happened? She just walked out on us. Huh? This is the reason I said calm down. Mama, don't tell me to calm down. 
That girl has collapsed on to first and second to my life. This I won't let that happen. So this is the reason I said you should calm down. Because as we speak, your father's properties has been closed from us. And we need to think. We need to think deep on how to go about it. I'm not shouting. Mama, I am not going to marry that girl for whatever reason. Excuse me. You need to calm down. Baby, can you have to think? I don't want it either. Not with her attitude. But what do I do? Oh, God. Just have to. Our sons, it is not the fault of your uncle that he has to carry out the vow he made to your late father, Sigbert. Please, please let us try and understand why we have to obey your father's last wish. My elders. I am here for uncle to give me the company documents he took from that corrupt barrister. I am not here to accomplish any wish. What did I hear you say? You heard what I said. Which document? Oh, oh, oh. You didn't understand what he just said. Ah. If you fail to understand it, you will understand it when the time comes. You are late, father. When he was alive, I never disobeyed him cha, 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 at all. Are you expecting me to disobey him now? He has joined our ancestors. Oh, man, man, man. That would not happen. Bah! As for that document, hey, hey, if you want it released, either of you must decide. In fact, here, yeah, who will marry when? If not, you will have me. You, you must know which nonsense is this. Tell me. Uncle. Oh, uncle. 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 Lala. How does, did you see that? He just walked out from us. Fred, it's okay. He is doing all of this because of Winnie, have we? People will see marriage and he will run. Let's go. These children have become so stubborn. Can you just imagine? Any news about my wife? <sighs> there is bad news. And what is this bad news? Um, Fina. Fina mobilized some of our colleagues and um, they charged you to to court for assault and the mother of your wife. Jerry, I did not kill my wife. My wife is not dead. This is my wife we are talking about. Why would I want her dead? Jacob, your wife's dead body was found in the public waste bin last night. No. No. No, not Isabella. No. No. My wife can't be dead and say. No. Are you sure? Yeah. No. My love. No. My love. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fina. Fina is okay. Stop crying. Okay. He killed her. He killed Isabella, my friend. Tom's her body in a waste pain. It's okay. Alright? Stop crying. It's okay. So <laughs> please. Jacob is going to pay. Jacob is going to face me in the court of law. That is all I see. That is the only judgment 
that is fit for Jacob. I told Isabella. I told her. I asked her to leave this night, but she wouldn't listen. Oh. Isabella, why? Hey. Gina, it's okay. Oh, Isabella, why? Okay. Isabella, why? Put yourself together, alright? It's okay. And now she's dead. Sorry, your mom, she called me and she said she'll be coming first thing tomorrow morning. So I decided to come over to help tidy up and make food available. I tried calling you, but your number was switched off. You have been drinking. I, don't touch me. Rita, do you believe Jacob is innocent? Who is Jacob? Uh, Jacob. Jacob is my best friend. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I told, I told him. I told him to stop watching his wife. I told Jacob to stop beating his wife like an animal. He wouldn't listen. Oh, Sabella is dead. I just said he was the one that killed her. He's going to die. This is this is so scary. Why would a man beat his pregnant wife to death? <clears throat> That's barbaric. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, no, Fifa. It's okay. Uh, Let me help you. Okay. To uh, start. Uh, <clears throat> Let me help you. to my husband though. He asked me to get dressed. And now you guys are here. What are you doing here? We just you know doing our <laughs> I just heard his voice. Where is he? Um, um see you're gonna do me a favor right now. I want you to look beside you. Beside me? Why? Do not beside Oh happy birthday <laughs> to you <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> to you Happy birthday, happy birthday, <coughs> happy birthday to you. Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry I didn't tell you people this, okay? My wife is pregnant. What? Oh my Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Love you too, baby. <laughs>
What happened to the love you had for your wife, Isabel? What happened? I, I switched on her phone last night and I found numerous text messages on a company's file that is under her care. So I decided to call you to let you know the situation of things. <sighs> what your world? I can't believe Isabella is gone just like that. Her husband knew all this while. That was why he kept on playing pranks on me. He killed her. He killed her. And I'll make sure he pays. Death is the only sentence that he deserves. So, um... I call this meeting to let you all know that I have agreed to go on with my father's wish. That is to get married to Winifred here and make her my legitimate wife. Good. You, we are not fighting. It is for the interest of the entire family. Um, Mr. Joe, you may please go ahead and read my father's will. <coughs> no. Why? Huh? Okay, you think you can just declare marriage to Baba? To just come up and say, <laughs> she's my wife. It's not done that way. You should do something to prove to me that maybe the marriage is something. You should put that something. Something like. Ready. You show us both of you are together. You, I think your uncle is right. And what? Well, that your name is it, Winifred or Winifred? Don't you want to wear wedding ring? I want a court wedding and Jeremy traditional marriage. That is our marriage status. Uncle, I promise I will do. As she has said. You. I don't understand. Are you afraid of her? Show something. Don't forget. Your late father said you must convince me. In fact, not just you. Both of you must convince me that there is a mutual understanding. There is love. You need to show this affection. Eh? Listen, Uncle. Okay. Eh? Marriage is marriage. Do you understand? So we're not to decide for them. Allow them to decide how they want it. Okay, quiet. I'm saying something and you're talking another thing. If you don't know it, let me... Mususu, you can kiss her before me. Uncle, it, it, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I promise I will love and cherish Winifred here. Uh, yes. You are still repeating the same thing. It's just Baba. Mommy Fred is here. Her lips is very red. And you are here. Your lips is here too. Start by kissing. Yeah. Kiss her. Prove to me. Okay, no problem. The, all the documents remain with me until people are ready to show me that you love each other. Then I will release it. If you don't know, tell me. Let me teach you how to kiss. Yeah. Kiss her. I am listening on the other note. Selfish desire, desperate measures. Selfish desire. Of men may prevail 
But tomorrow will come knocking someday The evil in the heart of men may prevail But tomorrow will come knocking someday Oh I'm sorry. You were drunk last night and I I tried stopping you from I with I I know I was drunk. And I also know that something happened. Okay? And I want to tell you that in this life everything happens for a reason. What happened last night changed my whole Life. He has changed everything about me. What do you mean by change? Okay, I... I love you. And I want to be with you. You, know, you. you have always been a good friend to me. You know, whenever I need a person, I call my love. She's never there, but you are always there to fill in the gaps for her. Please, I... I just want you to just give me a chance. I you, love you. You can't be serious right now. You can't be. I am serious. I am. Yes, I am. And I am not infatuating or lost over what we had. I I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Jerry, what are you even saying? You're Winnie's man. I am a best friend. This sounds very salty. What have I done? I feel I feel so messed up right now. I caused all this. Hey. I betrayed a friend. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to take away anything you call guilt in your heart. Because you, you didn't betray anybody. Okay? This feeling is mine and I know what I feel for you now. I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. I, my mother was right. She said that you are a good woman and I, I believe her. All I ask for is just one chance. Just give me a chance. Jerry, please. Jerry, Jerry. This is... I don't even know what to say. This is crazy. This is fuck up. Why didn't I stop you? Why didn't I just stop all of this from happening? Why? Rita. Look at me, I, I am not drunk right now. I am in my full senses, okay? And I am telling you now that I want to be with you. I hope for a good woman and I think you are the person for me. Please, just give me a chance, please. Jerry, this doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't. What is he doing here? Uh, hi, Winnie. Well, I can't remember inviting you to my house. Anyways, your presence means nothing. Babe, guess what? Tell me. No, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to read it to yourself. Go ahead. Yes. Seriously. Of course. <laughs> Girl, are you happy for me? I told you I was going to make this happen. Huh? And I did. I'm the boss. I make things happen. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm lost here. Can someone put me through what is, what is, what is happening? Go ahead. Tell him. Tell him. 
She's married. Yeah. Had a court wedding today. Today. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mrs. Winnie Ibuka Johnson. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm so happy for you. Like, for real? You, you married now? Yes. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. And you married now and I believe you're happy, right? Yeah, I am. And... I really want to show you joy. This goes for a celebration. I'm happy. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so happy. Thank you. Uh, babes. Are you okay? You should be happy. Um, Rita. Jerry acted really strange. Did you notice it? I did. I mean, it's supposed to feel terrible and probably go crazy because I dumped him and dashed into marriage. But he wasn't. He acted normal and cool. And he hasn't even texted or called, crying, begging, you know. Like normal people do when they are heartbroken. Um, you know, I, I really felt terrible, but I had to wear the happy look and still ponder at the same time. I've been thinking, could it be that he was cheating? Hmm? I mean, having an affair with someone else while we were dating. I've just, I've just been thinking because that's not the Jerry I used to know. Um, I know. He didn't do all of that because... Because, because what? <laughs> That's not the Jerry I know. The Jerry I know will not even care that you are here. He will start crying and begging. I... I know. It's... It's because we had sex. What did you just say? I don't, I don't understand. Winnie, Winnie, it was a mistake. He, he was, he was drunk. It wasn't my doing. He overpowered me and I did it. <laughs> it <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm sorry. Winnie. Wait, 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 wait. How long has this been going on? Just, just last night. You didn't get it. I asked. I said, how long has this been going on? Just last night, I swear. <laughs> You're evil. Yes. You. You're, you're evil. And you call yourself my best friend. Huh? Yes, listen, I know I am married. Hmm? But you have no right to go behind my back to sleep with my ex-boyfriend. No wonder he did not react. You are the brain behind it, right? I'm, I'm winning. winning. No, no. See... I, I went to his house. Okay. I wanted to help him because mm -hmm. his mom was coming. I wanted mm -hmm. to help him mm -hmm. cook him. I got there. He was drunk. And I wanted to take him from here yeah, to the couch. Mm -hmm. And he overpowered me. And were you, were you drunk too? Winnie. Don't touch me. Were you drunk? Winnie, you know me. No, I don't, I don't know you. No, I, I don't know nobody. You're not that kind of a person. I will not betray you this way. 
<laughs> it was a mistake. I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're blabbing. You are blabbing right now. You know, right? I want to understand what you mean. Like a magnetic force. The penis went in and it refused to come out. Right? Jerry came. He was drunk and accidentally his penis fell into your vagina. And what happened? Winnie. It was a mistake. Winnie. Winnie, Don't get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. You know what? Hmm? The same way Jerry's penis accidentally fell into your vagina. I want you to accidentally go in there, pack your things, and get out. Don't out there! Don't touch me! Do you understand? Don't let me lose it. Pack your things and get out. You want to try me? You want to try me? make me feel like you are happy and married to your son, Leonard. I know you are not, but I don't care. And I know you are not happy with me and this whole thing called marriage, but it's okay. My daughter, you may be right at some point here. What can I do? And besides, it's not your fault. So, I'll do my best to take you in as my daughter in law because this is what my husband wants. And because I want him to rest in peace wherever he is. <laughs> it's not like you have a choice here, do you? No. Yeah, no. Well, that's not why I'm here. I want you to stop cooking for my husband. Listen to me, Flora. You called me by my name. Well, that's your name. Right? Mm -hmm. Good. You are his mother and I'm his wife. There's a big difference between us. Okay. I'm sorry. And I promise that from today, I'll stop making this food. Good. Yeah. I like you. You're very obedient. <sighs> you know, I know you want everything to be fine. You want everybody to be at peace. Well, I want that too. Hmm? So, stop attending to my husband. And make sure he doesn't eat this thing. Okay? Mary, when you're done with that mess, come to my room. Selfish desire Desperate measures Selfish desire, desperate measures, the wickedness in the heart. Mother, you have to play the role of a good husband to her. Don't allow her to have any feelings of rejection or to come back but in all of us. Mother. Mom, I don't get this. I don't understand it. Why would my uncle stand as the evil queen in my own father's house when my, my brother and I are very much alive? Eh? Giving us terms and conditions before releasing our own father's uh, 
document. Where have you seen or heard it happen before? I've been too quiet about this way, honestly. I told you people that your father, your late father was a very smart man. And he loved his brother more than us. Okay. He said that Ebuka will marry him. And that he has made possible. There's nothing he ever wished for that he doesn't achieve. What am I trying to say? Please, myself. Marry the girl. Love her to see her. And to tell her. So we all can have this, okay? Well, I have heard all this, sir. And I just pray that Uncle will have a change of mind soon. Thank you. I don't want any of this to get my family now. I don't want them to get like this. Of course it is. Mom, I am not happy. I am not happy at all. Can you imagine? But I suspected this. And I keep telling you that I am an idiot. I don't know anything. Just to cover up. Everything happens for a reason. I keep saying that to you. But everything is fine now, okay? I just don't want to take advantage of your trust. So you are free to speak your heart. If you really don't want me in your life, you're free to say. But the truth is crystal clear, Riri. I really love you from the innermost sanctuary of my heart. I do. Rainy called me a devil. She threatened to pull me and see if I do it. It's okay. It's okay now, alright? You're in safe hands now. Okay? Wait, what? This. What is this? Huh? What is it? Stop, stop, stop. Oh. What, what's all this now? What was this? Uh, why are you acting like this? It was the wish of your late father. And it's been two weeks since we got married, yet you don't want to make me feel like a woman. Look, you know you have every opportunity to turn down my late father's wish. You think love comes easy? How do I even explain this to my family in London? What do I tell them? Please, just give me some time to blend with you, okay? No problem. No problem. I will go and I will tell Uncle Kano that you are not doing anything. You're just faking this whole thing. You're not being the man you're supposed to be. Yes, you're faking it. You're depriving me my right and need as a, as, a, as a wife. No problem. I will tell him. Are you threatening me? Look, you should understand this. I need good time to blend with you. I don't want to fake this love. Do you want me to fake it? There is nothing there. It's just let's start from making love. That's how it starts. There's nothing there. Like you said, it's just two weeks in this marriage. Two weeks. Come on. Two weeks is not enough to you for you to get used to somebody. For me, no, it's not. It's you not. Have, yeah, you have to give me some time. I cannot give my husband that time. I can't. Like what what's even all this? You think I wanted this? No, you think I didn't love my man? It's because of your late father I'm doing this. So don't think I'm a cheap slut or maybe I'm trying to beg you, I'm trying to... It's not. If not for your late father, I wouldn't be here. This is what he wanted. He made me. I took a father I was going to get married to you. That's why I'm here. Can you just give me some time? That's okay. There's no time. 
Yes, there is no time. Just give me like one month. Okay? What? Yeah. One month? <laughs> that one month cannot work. Oh. Let's just try. Oh, don't worry. You what get... is this now? See, Stop not... it. I don't want. I don't feel like it. Don't worry. When was that? You like it. Just let's try. Hmm? Wait. Are you listening to me? I'm listening now. Just, let's just hey. try. About Wait. Jesus. Oh, Wait. God. Wait. You see one of your cars? Yes. Hey. Papa, um, yeah. I'm the only one. Papa. Well, Papa will have a whole lot to discuss. <laughs> hey, Emeka, hey. hey. why not get me my shin up and call her? Why you? Let me thank the boss. No, 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 no. Hey, Mama, I don't know my life, dear. Yeah. Yeah. You landed in a big way. Emeka, yes. before yes. I'm proud of you. Yes. The ghost has remembered my family today. Did you tell the villagers that your boss lady daughter? Hey, make a hurry up! Get in our body! Hey! Mama! Adamo! Adam Jamano! Adam Jacob! Hey! The ghost of our land. The ghost of our four forefathers. Let me be. Say. You said our children will go out there and prosper. They shall not die. Mm -hmm. They will not kill to make money or steal. Mm -hmm. I thank you for making your words to come to manifestation in my family today. Mm -hmm. Accept my task. You say. Yeah. Accept my task. Okay, Papa. Yeah. Pray this thing. Yes, Papa. As I pray with. The drink. So I pray with the color. May the ghost accept it in full. He said, Did I not break? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, man. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Hey, go Hey, 
Baba! Only friend, my daughter. Yes, Baba. You seem to be married. Yes, um, we had our court wedding two weeks ago, and we'll be coming to the village for the traditional wedding. Court wedding? But you didn't inform any one of us. Who. I I know, and I'm really sorry. The thing is that it just happened really fast. It wasn't intentional. Everything happened really fast, and I couldn't inform you people. There's no problem. Mom, it's okay. I understand you people are you people in the city. You are always very busy. Yeah? There's no problem. Oh, Mom, the most important thing is that you are married. Yeah? I'm I... so happy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, what does your husband do for a living? Well, he's the son of my boss, producing oil and gas. He also has other companies, real estate, and other businesses. Or he's late, and my husband, who happens to be his first son, will be taking over his business. Oh, I see, I see. And please, I'm going to ask you this very last question. And I want you to open up and tell us the truth. This is Emeka, your brother. This is your mother, and I, your father. So do not hide anything from us. Tell us the truth. Okay, what's the question? Good. Have you ever spilled blood before? Papa, what kind of a question is this? Ha. I know why I asked you this question. And I want you to tell us the truth. So that I, your father, can go mice to make sure that I, I, I send my offspring from any destruction. Well, Papa, I really don't understand what you're talking about. I've never done anything that has to do with blood. I'm not a ritualist. I didn't do any blood moon. I don't, I don't know what this is. Mama, what, what's this now? I don't know. You should be asking your father. Your father is always fond of whenever we are in a good mood. He will find a way of spoiling it. Sister. You better uh, answer the first question. Or... What sort of madness is this? And eh? what is this? If I am not welcomed here, just tell me I'll gladly leave. I don't know. Eh, Mama, what is all this? My husband is not a ritualist and can never be. I am not. I do a legitimate job. What's all this? What's all this drama? Oh, tell your father. My daughter, a child who fetches firewood that is full of ants should be ready when the lizard will pay him visit. Yes. And whoever causes the wrath of the gods, he or she will carry the cross, not I. It's your koro. Now, Emeka, you are my only son. Listen to me so that you will live long. Do not marry with your sister. Are you hearing me? Do not accept anything from her. Mary, what is all this one you're saying now? Eh? Her hands are not clean. Eh? For what now? And look at my son. Do you hear me? Allow her to carry the crime she committed. Not I, Ichokoro. What kind of talk is this one now? Say she don't want to tell us the truth. What, what is all these ones you're saying? Eh? What is your father even saying? Eh? What is he even saying? So, you are not happy that your only daughter go married to a very rich man and even thought it wise to come home and tell you that he got back, that she got married to a rich man. Eh? You see why I keep telling you? Your father is an enemy of progress. Your father is a problem we are not progressing in this family. Hey! Sister, please. I, I, I want... You and I to have a private talk. No, I am as a brother and sister. Hmm? I will be in my room. Please, you can come over. Let's let's talk, please. Oh, I I, 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 will, I will come and meet you in your room, please. Huh? She must be very stupid. <laughs> she must be very very stupid to think that I will lie to you people. Huh? 
What? What's all these things? What's this about? Mama, Mama. Stupid boy. Is it me you're drawing your ear for? I won't be You see that the man that you have bought a dog on your sister? I don't feel Mama, I know what I'm saying. You need progress. Eh? You are your father. You are your father who keep killing God in this family. You are your father who keep pushing good people in this family. But this time I don't like to know what for you. Can you imagine? Shame is poor! Come on, be eating my food! You don't know I'm giving you food in this house because I don't have a dog. You are eating my food because I don't have a dog! It's obvious that my daughter is hiding something from me. is stained with blood. The vibration of the land is nothing but one thing. And the land cannot save her from a deserved destruction. Fred, my daughter. Did you kill him? What? The thing you fought yourself in rituals. No. The ghost cannot lie to me. The ghost cannot lie to me. She said she's not guilty. Of what I saw, the ghost cannot lie to me. The ghost cannot lie to me. Huh. Anywhere, you know it, I will not die for the crime. You committed since you don't want to tell me the truth. Huh? Mama, um, I am innocent. Huh? How can I how can I go and soak my hands in blood? I'm a Christian now. I can't do something like that. My daughter, don't bother yourself. Don't bother yourself about your father and your brother. They are, see, they are not happy with your progress. It's pure jealousy. This is how your father has always been. Each time I want to make a move for the progress of, of our family, he will find a way of spoiling it. Let me tell you, I trust you. I raised you up in the way of the Lord, so you couldn't have been a ritualist. Eh? Don't bother yourself. You know, God? No, I trust you. <laughs> Adam, Madu. Ma, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Um, but Mama, I am having problems in my marriage already. <gasps> That's one of the major reasons I came back home. <gasps> what, um, what could that be? Just, just tell me whatever it is. My late father in law, mm -hmm. he forced his first son on me oh. to get married to so that I can be part of his company. Mm -hmm. But it's not rosy. The first son does not want to make me feel like his wife. And I have this feeling that one day he can just rise and throw me out of the house. <laughs> and Mama, I don't want that. <laughs> Leslie, these people are very, very rich, Mama. Yes, very you. rich. Yes, you. And me, I want to be part of that family. <laughs> I don't want to leave. Eh? So I don't know if there is any help I can get because I want to be in charge, I want to be in control, I want to subdue everybody, let them be under me. <laughs> That's what I want. So I don't know if there is any way you can help me, Mama. Please, I need help. There's no problem, my daughter. 
see, I feel your pain. I understand what you're going through. Do you understand me? Um, I will definitely do something. When are you uh, leaving this village? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. In that case, I'll have to visit Ichi Kriche tonight. No, I don't understand what is Ichi Kriche. Don't worry, you will understand it. Ichi Kriche is a strong native doctor. Very good. He's a professional and he knows what he's doing. I will get a commanding champ from him. Hmm? If only you can use this charm as instructed, eh? I tell you, put your husband and everyone around you, eh? They will be worshipping you. They will be worshipping the very ground you step on. In fact, if you want them to lick your faces, they will lick it. You will be in charge. That is when you now finally become the real boss lady. <laughs> I've always known you will you make me proud. The wickedness in the heart of men may prevail, but tomorrow will come knocking someday. The evil in the yes, heart sir. of men may prevail. We have really, 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 really but tried. Eh? Will not say that you need money for I will That's not. Me. I will not. Thank you very much. Eh? For everything you've done. Hey. That reminds me, you said you needed money to get laptop, right? Mm. Eat this. Mm. Do not leave the work you're supposed to use your laptop to do and start doing food. Do. Don't do it. There's no good way to do it. Mm. Mm. It's not you know, just use it and buy food. People, you know, people see too far. After all, Papa, Papa God will bless Papa. You know, you don't want to buy it. <laughs> Come and be going, you know, Lagos is too far. Lagos is far, so come and be going. It's okay. It's okay. So, Johnny, God will lead you safely, eh? You will arrive in Lagos safely and in peace. Okay. Oh, ma'am. Thank you for another morning. My sweet mother. <laughs> right. You know, the main demand is inside. This oh. one, it was amazing. <laughs> 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 Bye bye, oh man, bye bye, yo. Bye bye. How <laughs> about and carry me to Lagos, oh mama? Because of my character, we second step. Second, Dead. I am going to die soon. Jacob, can you just stop talking about that? Huh? Stop it, please. I believe God is going to, you know, intervene and, and save you from dying. You're not going to die. Huh? Jerry, you had the first hearing in court. It is crystal clear that Fina and her colleagues want to see me die. Slowly and painfully. Um, did 
Did you really kill your wife? Jenny, if, if I can lie to the world, you know I cannot lie to you. I did not kill my wife on that fateful day. And I regret my actions. I wish her soul forgives me before I die. Jacob, can you just stop talking about that? Stop it, please. You are not going to die. Okay? God has a reason for everything. I believe he's going to save you from this. I want you to be strong, okay? Um, meet my wife. Risa, meet my best friend, Jacob, the one I've been telling you about. Hi. She's beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful like my wife, Isabella. Jacob, stop it. Can you just stop it, please? Stop it. Okay? Jerry, I I swear if if God gives me another chance to live, I will educate the world and make sure they stand against domestic violence on women. I, I suddenly turned to a beast the very moment my wife's stature changed. All because of her pregnancy. My mind started seeing my beautiful wife as ugly as everything. I will forever regret this thing I brought upon myself. It's not totally your fault, sir. Maybe you weren't properly educated on the norms that comes with pregnancy in women during your marriage classes. Pregnancy is just a temporary biological change in women. Some women go really fat with swollen legs. Some women really look out of shape, making outrageous demands. Though there are still some women that look really beautiful with their portrait in stomach. And you need to understand something. Men need to understand something in general. That all of these changes is not the woman's fault. Pregnancy is really tough for women. If you still find your wife beautiful while she's pregnant, it means that you still love her. But if you don't find her attractive anymore, then you have to still keep trying. Keep loving her and complimenting her. Make her understand that she's all you have and she's still the beautiful dancer you met before pregnancy. Oh, baby, it's okay. I okay for now. I just um hope that also men will understand this and save their marriage. Yeah. Victor, thank you so much. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
what happened. Huh? So it's going to take you people the whole day to watch these few clothes. Sorry, sorry, ma'am. Shut your mouth! Shut up! I said shut up! Did I ask you? Huh? Did I? Now get out. Get out now. I said get out. Get out, you're staring. Get out. Get out. And you? Hey, ma. Did you wash those cars and have them like instructed? Yeah, yes, ma. So what are you doing here? I am helping them to... My friend, get into my mother's room and tidy it up twice. Wrap your face. Okay, ma. Leo. Are you listening to me? Sorry, ma. I said get to my mother's room and tidy it up. Leo, finish now. Finish it up. When I was busy liking and crushing on you, you open your dirty mouth to be telling me, oh, don't dress like that to my office. Don't do this, don't do that. Now who is in charge? You're in charge, oh. Eh? You are highly in charge. I said who is in charge? You are super in charge. And what is my name? My name is Tony Fred, uh, Leonard. So you're very stupid. Very, very stupid. Blockhead, you don't know anything. Leo! Ma? Tell your mother what my name is. I should. Sorry, uh, Mama. Read my lips. My name is Boss Lady. Okay. Repeat after me. Boss Lady. Boss Lady. Good. Madam Boss Lady. Yes, that is what I am. I am the boss here. Yes. You are the boss of the house. Do you have anything contrary to that? No, 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 no. Good. Come. And you, hmm? my useless, good for nothing husband. Yes, ma'am. Have you cleaned my bedroom? Perfect. Everything. Never. Did you iron my pants? Yes. Good. You take this one. Flora. Ma. This thing you're washing here. Huh? I give you ten minutes to run. Hey, what did you do? What did you do, hey, hey. What have you done, Leonard? Hey, hey. What have you done? Ma, I am so sorry. Why? Are you stupid? Sorry, ma. Have you gone not? Please don't be offended. Please. Hey. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Useless thing. Like I was saying, Snora. Ma? In the next 10 minutes, I come back here and see these things. You will see what I'll do to you. Yes, ma. 10 minutes! So you come inside, take money, go to the market and buy food items for me. Yes, uh, but uh, Mary is there too. Sorry, ma. I'll finish this close now and I'll come to your room and take money for the I'm gonna give you a What? Yeah? No, no, I, I, I was talking to my mother. Who is your mother? I am here. And you are talking to the woman of white. Try it. I, I just wanted to show her that it's a I'll use your tongue to strip this food. Useless things. Thank you. I'm gonna see there's still here. You do what's still worth. Selfish desire. Don't worry. I'll get done with these clothes. I'll go to the market and buy food stores. I'll cook and bring you out. Please, before I die, I'll do that. Don't worry, I'll do that for you, okay? Respect this. But they're staying. No, they're staying. They're staying. The song will take it out. The song will take it out. The song will take it out. The heart of men may prevail, but tomorrow will come knocking someday. Hmm! This house is still so good. Better than the one I took in the village. Mm. What are you waiting for? My friend, get out. All these, all these, all these people. Yes, 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 in tum tum. It worked perfect. Just like you said. I told you. In fact, this is just the beginning. Imagine all you would have missed. Hey! My daughter owns this big, fine, beautiful house. Hey! You see, this is what I've always wanted. 
is what I've always wanted, but your father has always been a stumbling block. Eh? That man, eh? Ariana say go poverty. Eh? Imagine my daughter owns this big house now. Hmm? This shows that through me, your husband is a son of a rich man. And they are all under me. Hi. Under my feet. I command them and they move. Hi. Hi. Just go to the backyard and take a look for your son. I'm the boss. Yes. Hey, it's too much. The boss lady herself. You see, I've always known that you will take after me. You are smart. You are intelligent and beautiful. The amazing part is my husband. I have him whenever and wherever I want. I will get pregnant. Cut on pieces. This one at home pieces, yeah. And by the time you have a child for him, eh? Mm. Or rather for them, you will not be in total control. Mama, I am already in control. That's good. Mm. The boss lady. When you have a child for them, I'll come for Mugo. Of course. Uh -huh. But this one I have come now is pay on Mugo. Eh? When I'm going back, you buy a very big car for me. Eh? Then you see that money your brother refused to accept for a laptop. Buy that laptop for me. Okay. Yes. Then you now hire all those bigger Huh? Yeah. You don't have to be have to you. Then you now get a gun for them. Yeah. Very big gun that anybody that tries nonsense, eh, they'll shoot the person. You why? Okay, eh? <laughs> and you see that my car, eh? They will write on it and paste Mama Boss Lady. Again, very much in charge. Good morning, Ma. What are you doing? Huh? Well, we are cleaning. Who is we? My friend, I'm talking to you. Stop that thing you're doing. Who is we? Listen. This will be the first and the last time I will ask her to do something and you help her to do it. Do I make myself clear? Now go to the kitchen and make me breakfast. <laughs> was that look for me? What did I do? I asked, was that look for me? No, ma. Good. Now get out. Yes. And you? Yes, ma'am. Stop that thing I'm talking. Sorry, ma'am. When you're done with this, hmm? Yes, ma'am. Go to the market and buy me fruit. Yes, ma'am. Aha. Uh -huh. So, look at me. I said, look at me. Do you see any sign of fertility in me? Yes, ma'am. Oh, like my breast or my back? Huh? Is there? Yes. Wow. So very soon I'm going to be pregnant, right? Oh. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? That's because your son is very good in bed. It's like a machine. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh huh. Like, listen, if I tell him it's like my toy, it's like a robot, huh? Maybe do it like this and he does it. Maybe take it from the back, he does it. Maybe lick me up and he does it. Huh? Was your husband like that? Huh? Tell me. 
Was your husband good in bed? Like your son? Mm, I don't think so. He wasn't. Huh? Was he? Or was he boring? I think he was boring. But your son is good. <laughs> Continue. Thank you for everything. What? Thank you for everything. Why are you thanking me? For everything. What is everything? You're very stupid. Thank you. Continue your walk. Yes, ma'am. Tomorrow will come knocking someday. The evil in the heart of men. What is really happening in this house? I, I can't believe my eyes. Is my madame and her children sick? Or are they under a spell? Wait, am I dreaming? Mary, wake up! Hey! Oh God! I have a lot of questions to ask, but what do I do? Who do I, who do I direct them to? Oh God! You're the only solution to all of these problems, and you're the only one that can answer my questions. What, what, what is going on? This blood. Crying for vengeance. Into my ears. Who are you? I am innocent. I know nothing about you. But if you think that you have anything, to do with any member of my family that have taken your life forcefully, I wash off my hands and every part of my body from your rot. Go and avenge for yourself if it's the only thing you want. My name is Ichiokuro. I keep my hands like this. I will never support evil. When the tortoise want to tell his kiss man that he is smart, that he should remove his shield and drop into the boiling water. Then we shall know if he's smart enough to save himself from that boiling water. It's going more for. Yana Amaro, I got her mom. You will go no for.
Fina, it is time. I want vengeance. It is unfortunate that your late wife wants revenge. And revenge she will get. Jacob, I will make sure you rot in hell for killing Isabella, my best friend. The court adjournment is just to give you time to prepare to die. Until you die, I will know no peace if my profession does not get me to the extent that I want in this case, I will quit. Yes, I will quit. Fina, it might interest you to know that I have Christ in me now. So I fear no death. God alone him alone will justify me. I did not kill my wife in something. Mm. Good. See you in court next month. You said, my spirit seek for vengeance. Yes. I promised her. Vengeance she'll get. This is serious. Huh. Isabella. A kind-hearted colleague of mine. You see, because of our relationship, people thought we were going out. But they were wrong. Isabella knows my wife too well. And I have never thought of cheating on my wife with another woman. They should learn to verify things before jumping into a conclusion. Yes, she admires my look. But it ends there. We know our bounds. I have a mother emergency. I'm also a public figure. I cannot jeopardize my good reputation by disobeying the vow that I made to my wife at the altar. <sighs> I, I do not know what to say as regards this matter anymore. Jacob went too far and he has to pay. He assumed you were dating her. He drew the entire conclusion via Isabella's phone. I saw it. He lacks trust. But he will regret killing my friend. This life. People you smile with today are no longer there tomorrow. What a queer world we live in. Yeah, I'm gonna have 
Yes, okay. As your daughter, confided in you concerning what I asked her. What kind of question is this? Eh? What kind of question are you asking me? Did my daughter tell you that she, she's a ritualist? Eh? See, I went to her house in Lagos and I spent days with her. There was nothing suspicious or anything that, she, that portrays that she's a cultist. The only thing I saw and noticed in her hair. Hey! Hey! The only thing I saw and noticed was plenty of chicken. Hey! 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 Plenty of baba. Hot dog, fried rice, jollof rice, pork meat, even in bracket. I am go I am so proud of her. I am so proud of my daughter. Smart girl, mad sharp. <laughs> Hi, Mama. You are not getting the point here. Papa is not saying that my sister is a ritualist. Papa is trying to know whether if my sister has turned her hand in blood ritual in any way. <sighs> or whatever. What is it? Eh? You must just, you, you must just, you just don't shut up! Shut up and allow me to have rest of mind! What is it now? Hmm. Why are you in any of progress? Eh? Why can't I just drink water in my own house and keep up? It is because of this, my black currant. Take, take, take and drink. Ah, what is it now? Look, let me just tell you people. If your eyes can see, you will notice that my level has changed. I am no longer that village woman. You married, oh. Look at my skin. Look at how it's glowing. So you better mind the way you talk to me. Otherwise, I'll just go back to my daughter's house. In fact, Lagos, I go now. Lagos, where I come? Papa, it's so obvious that Mama did not ask sister anything. She went there to enjoy herself. I can't imagine. Papa, see, my hand, my leg, my body is off of this old. Beyonce, do you have leg? My do you have leg before? My son. Stupid boy. Papa, don't mind your mother. Continue enjoying. What you know nothing about. I'm not going to know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to I'll continue to enjoy and enjoy and enjoy. If you don't like it, you see that transformer at the junction. Eh? Go and hug it. Go and hug the transformer. Don't worry. Shameless man. I don't know say go. I don't know how say go. One bootega I will eat. I will enjoy myself. Please don't, 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 don't look at that drink. Me? 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 I am drinking it. Isabella, please. Have mercy. I know I have wronged you. Please, I'm sorry. Have mercy, please. I did not know what came over me. Please, forgive me. I am sorry. I'm sorry, Isabella. Please. Have mercy, please. Fina. I want vengeance. Fina, vengeance. Isabella, your husband will soon be executed. I'm trying every possible means for it to happen very soon. Please, give me some time. Bye. 
buy an egg. Go to where you found my corpse. And break it. I'll do exactly so. Isabella, my friend, I have done what you asked me to do. May your soul seek what it longs for. Break my toes. Sorry for yourself, dudes. Why are you shaking my baby? Did I carry it like that? What you're doing? I'm a bomb. Put it on your breast. Mary, you didn't see me. Huh? My friend, I'm talking to you. Come on, drop that thing. Sorry for yourself. Useless thing. You did not see me. Huh? If I'm too small that you can't see me, this is my big thumb. You didn't see it too. Huh? Idiot. Useless thing. That's why you remain in need. Please, no, please, 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 don't kill me. Please, I beg you. Please, I beg you, don't kill me. I beg you, don't kill me. Yes, I remember you. I remember you. Jacob's wife, Jacob's friend, I remember you. Please, 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 please. please. No, no.
Mary, Mary. What's the problem? She wants to kill me. Mary, what is it? Susan, I, I don't know. She fell after taking water from the fridge and all she kept saying was, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Who wants to kill you? She's in the kitchen. She's in the kitchen. The kitchen. She's in there. Shut your mouth. Huh? There's nobody in the kitchen. There's nobody there. Huh? Um. Okay. You know, I don't know. This pregnancy sometimes it just makes me to hallucinate. Ha! Um. Are you okay? Why do you ask me that? Huh? You, 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 shut up! Shut your mouth. You were here, all of you. You were here. Were you not here? Where? Were you? Where? Were you not here? Where? You were here. And you. And I was screaming inside the Stop! Stand up! Sorry, 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 stand up! Sorry, ma. I was screaming again! And you people were here. You didn't care. Hey, now, go and pick that ring. I said, go, go and pick that ring. ring. Now. Idiot. Go and pick you want me to shout? Do you? Do you want me to shout? Idiot. Go away! I'm going to look for it. Choose less thing. Come, no, come, come here. Mm. Move my stomach. I okay. Yes. Uh, if you move an inch, if you step an inch, I'll slap your nose out of your face. Idiot. Take me there. I want to sit. Okay. Have you seen it? Is it? Stand up. I did not ask you to sit. Now listen, from today, I don't want to be anywhere and I will not see the four of you there. Okay. Let it not happen. In fact, we will all sleep on the same bed. Eh? Have I made myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good. Yes, ma now you, what's the meaning of that? Huh? Nothing, ma'am. Who asked you to do that? I wasn't, I didn't ask you to advocate for me. Sorry. sorry, sorry. Shut sorry, up. Ma. Shut up. Thank you. It's just being a nice husband. You are a fool. Yes, ma'am. Now go and get water for me. Ma'am. You say what? Pardon. Huh? Pardon, please. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Where is she? Uncle Kano yes, called. He, he said he, he will come tomorrow. Yes. Huh? Uncle Kano called. He said he will come tomorrow, my lawyer, to, to, to read my father's will. Yes. Um. Okay. That's fine. Bring it. Bring it. Put them come. What's wrong with you? Yeah, your yeah, water. Did I ask you to bring the water for me? Give it back to him. Give it to me. Everything is not right with Winifred. Karma is about to come upon her. She knows something that we all don't know. You're right, Mom. It's hiding something that we all do not know, and I'm sure she will not escape what is coming upon her. We suddenly come, come weak. Just look at the way she takes advantage of us. Um, my son, what do you want us to do? If we all revolt against her, she will kill us. So let's, let's just keep playing the fool. Okay. Um. Yes, ma. <laughs> Have you imagined what she does to your mother? Hey, baby. Hey. Baby. 
things You won't believe who called me today. Who? Winnie. What does she want? <sighs> she wants me to come see her tomorrow. She sounded really worried. Huh. Baby, I know this doesn't sit well with you, but I want you to go with me to go see her tomorrow. What? It's been long and I miss her. Baby, wait, wait. I know we have our differences, but she's still my friend. You want me to follow you to go see Winnie? Yes. Baby, please don't. Just do it for me. I, I will try. You will? Yeah, I need to make you happy. It will. All right, tomorrow we're going to see you. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> so, you're not going to ask our baby's doing, right? And how is she doing? It's a here. No, it's a she. Come on. <laughs> we have all gathered here today to read the will of late Johnson. Mr. Kano has handed over all the documents to him, signifying that he is satisfied with the matrimony of Mr. Leonard Abuka Johnson and Winifred Abuka Johnson. So we'll get down to the business of the day and that's reading the will of late Chief Johnson Argo. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Welcome. Hello, Jerry. So with you're my friend, sir. Huh? Beautiful couple. Please take a seat. Thank you. Mm. Have a seat. Welcome, man. Welcome. Uh -huh. Very sir. Please read the wheel for us. Okay, like I was saying. Please help me! 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 not allow him to take my estate. We we'll fight him to finish. Yes. It's a foolish betrayer. An animal. Um, Chief, please calm down. You, you know you're on the wheels. Huh? Please. Just... Ah! 
Jesus. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh my God. Jesus. She's a pregnant woman. Please, please. Help me. Let's take her to the hospital. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. Sit down. Sit down. Oh my God. What is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please stay with her. Watch your bar. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Please. Oh my God. 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 Please, Chief. Hi. God. Please just concentrate. How can I see? God. What is this? Oh, Jesus. Help me. Help me. Ah. Oh, What's wrong with the car? What is going on? Oh. Ah. What is going on? Oh. The car is checking. So all these things now tonight. Oh my God! Please watch over her. Let me check something. Okay. Let me check, check something. Oh my God! She can't die. No. She's dead. She can't die. She can't. Jesus. Jesus. Oh my God. Hey, God, why? God, why? My chief. She can't just die. You were there. I wasn't reckless in my driving. Oh my God. This is somebody's wife, somebody's daughter, and a mother to be. Listen, I have to go back to that place I knocked her down to find out what was after her. Mm. No, no, Chief, you can't. You can't do that. You what? can't. It's just an accident. Huh? You don't have to rush. You might get yourself involved in something that would danger your image in the future. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, Chief, I have a suggestion. Yeah? Go ahead, go ahead and say it. Okay. Um, let us take her corpse and dump it in a waste and not completed building by the roadside, just anywhere. Winifred, why must you such 
just a thing like that. Huh? Listen to me. I am a good man. I am not a killer. This is supposed to be somebody's wife. Somebody's daughter. And a mother to be. I am a Christian. I can do that. This is not about religion. This is about you. Your reputation. Your family. Your company. Your business. And everything that you represent. Chief. If you take the blame for this, what do you think the world would say? Huh? They might even say that you belong to a secret cause and you want to use the poor pregnant woman to enhance your wealth. Come and on. Chief Otega will not waste any time in making sure that your name is written on the billboard of ritual killers in this country. Chief. Let's save your name. Come on. My conscience will not forgive oh, me. Oh, goodness. When a friend, my conscience will not forgive me. Do you understand? Chief, Chief, you, myself, and your lawyers, we cannot stand the word. We don't even have anything to prove that it was an accident. Huh? Okay, look at the unique situation here. A pregnant woman, this time of the night, and out of nowhere, you came and you knocked her down. Who is going to believe that? Chief, no, just listen. Listen, let us do this and save everything that you've built in decades so you can live a normal life. Fred, you witnessed it. She ran into my front. Who is going to believe that? Who? Chief, this is the best. This is the best option. If you don't take this option, you are going to live to regret this day. Oh my God, my you know, I got in myself Chief, you didn't into. get yourself into anything except you accept it. Okay, let's just do this and it's going to be like this that never happened. Okay, get into the car. Good. What is wrong with you? Why are you recently disobeying my orders? Why? What is wrong with you, my friend? Chief. I asked you not to schedule any meeting with the Zell group of company. You went ahead and disobeyed me. I gave you a document to work on. You returned the document on my desk uh, that you had a slight headache. Why this sudden arrogant display? Today you're supposed to be in the meeting. I had to do that on myself. Your numbers are sweet up. What is wrong with you? Well, with all due respect, Chief, I needed some time to myself and that's what I got. Really? Good. You are fired. I cannot condone any uh, uh, nonchalant behavior in my company. This company is built on zero tolerance on silly behaviors. So you pack your ass, leave my company. I don't want to see you close to any of my properties. Leave now, Wilfred, before I cause the court to you. You're not so fast, Chief. You can't find Pardon? How can you even think of that in your head? Pardon? Chief, maybe you have forgotten. 
it lets me remind you that you are a murderer. A silent and bad woman. Winifred, you want to blackmail me? Well, let me tell you your tiny secret to the world. Telling them how you ran over a pregnant woman and deposited her remains in a public host will help you understand that you can't fire the boss lady. Now I can see the reason for your actions. Well, if when you're a devil, I wish I killed you instead of that poor pregnant woman. Oh. I know. I know. For your information, if you lay any threat or attack directly or indirectly to me, someone somewhere will tell your tiny secret to the world. And that would double that for you. So, what do you want? And what is your plan? I want to talk. It's very simple. I want your son, Leonard Ibuka, to get married to me legitimately. Are you out of your mind? Well, you know, I notice Fred is not interested in me, so I want to leave, and you will make that happen. You are lying. Know that Leo is married abroad, and he's happy with his family. I tell you. I know, but that's what I want. Do it. And your secrets will be buried forever. Have a nice day, Chief. to be amended. Your son, Leonard, <coughs> must get married to me. <coughs> I shall be documented. I have done that already. Married to him before they will read my will. My brother Kano will handle all of everything. Good. You see, Chief, this is why I like you. You would die. And I will take over your family. Oh. Winning for it. I am dying because of what you made me do.
stand to black now me I took you like my daughter which I never had I gave you a place in my company but not knowing I was coming someone that would lead me to my early grave in my prime <laughs> well chief <laughs> i must confess you did a bond that really well for me <laughs> and i thank you thank you <laughs> I regret that very night. I wouldn't have listened to you, the devil, in an angelic form. <laughs> devil? <laughs> but devil is an angel. Mm -hmm. Angel of light, yes. Mm -hmm. And I, mm -hmm. I am light. Mm -hmm. Winnie Fred, I curse you this day. Sunny child. She would die in pain. May you die the very day you conceive for my son. May the soul of that poor pregnant woman. Forgive me and cry for vengeance upon your head <coughs> for making me to do evil. Right in hell. Selfish desire. Tomorrow will come on Sunday. Don't be in your heart. This is how it happened. She did not kill itself. I killed her with my bare hands. If it's never that it gets you, Chief. You are evil. You are wicked. So my brother died for what he didn't know. What he didn't do. Hey! I'm not wicked. I'm not wicked. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Please forgive me. No. Please forgive me. I, I have to stop Fina. Yes, please. Jacob is innocent. I have to stop Fina. Please forgive me. <laughs> So you made my brother to suffer and die. He is not guilty of the crimes, blood. If you are not guilty, you, 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 this girl killed your father. I'm not. 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 I'm not.
is going on here? Is that a question or what from you? What is going on here? Even you, Leo. What's going on here? Friend, you? What are all these people doing here? Are we just sitting on the floor? Are we communicating? <laughs> are you still? I don't understand. What is going on in my house? I'm asking a question. Uh, what is going on in your head? I need to go I I cost it. I cost it. You cost it. I'm going to use Chap one day so they can be with me. Chap! Chap! You use Chap! Why are you so angry? No, 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 Jesus. I don't understand it. You're so heartless. Oh, you Jesus. You killed a pregnant woman. Oh, really? Oh, it's the best you found. She did what? You know what? Face your face. I'm out of here. I can't believe that you are dressed. Really? Oh, you're a good one. 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 You will not want to go and kill her. They said that she will look at another time on you. Go sit down. She killed somebody. Oh, she's killing me. Everything about her is killing, killing, killing. Challenge, challenge, challenge. She's only cost. You will die a miserable death. You. No, no, no. Not in my heart. No. It's what it is that happening here. This is the secret. I ran over a pregnant woman and she died. Why did he? She died? Why did he? Die! No, it was an accident. Yeah. On that fateful day, my secretary was with me. And I dumped her cups in a waste bin. Though she convinced me to do so. And now she wants to blackmail me with it. Man, women. Eh? This attitude of evil giving Adam food, they will never desist from it. Just imagine. Had it been, but you don't know the woman you killed, and now you still don't know the woman. What does she want? Why did she ask you to dump that thing? Now she wants to destroy Black Bell. In fact, she wants to do everything now because of that important. My God, they are too deceptive. I. What do we do? Uh, do we go and start looking for? Like you don't even know the pregnant woman. But we she need to be buried though. I have a What does she this girl want to? This your secretary, what does she want from you? Why is she doing this? Kano. Eh? She wants to destroy me. But she cannot. She wants to part of my family. Please, Kano. You have to do this for the sake of our family, my name, and all that I've worked for all my life. I got the amba. Allow me to handle this. She will die. Let me get rid of her. I will just get to the village and then go to Onomuzo, the main chief priest. I know what to give him. She will die. This is not second killing. You are not killing anybody. Eh? No, Kano. Yeah. Kano, no. Mm. I don't want more blood to shed on my behalf. And I'm saying, I'm telling you now, it is not second. You just one pregnant woman. Okay, more than that. The woman and the baby in her womb. This one is not another person. Okay, let me kill. You kill, I kill. Two brothers kill him. No problem. This girl will die. If she does not die, there will be more problem. You want your son to marry her. She will continue rigmaroling, doing all sorts of things. She will sabotage. She will blackmail. She... It is very dangerous to have such a person in our family. Kano, I said no. 
I know someday God will fight for me. God. Oh, Winnie. Winnie, Fred. Definitely, Kama will cut up with you. Oh, yeah, Tose. Hi. Tose, Polonga. Dry pepper. She wants to. She wants to. No problem. You want to either of your sons to marry her. Full stop. No problem. So just she will keep the secret. She must keep the secret. One minute. She will keep that secret. She will never go free. She will never go unpunished. Why? Never. <sighs> never. She will never go unpunished. Ah! I can do if you commit the same crime. And she wants you to suffer alone. It's not possible. Killing her father was not enough. You now used charm on us! <laughs> she used charm on us. Evil as what she is. I'm sorry. 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 You will die a miserable death, he said. If not because of this pregnancy you are carrying. If not because of this our blood in your in your tummy. You are evil. You forgive me. You, I'm sorry. You used to charm on I'm sorry. You will die. I'm sorry. So all of this happened. All this happened. A chief kept it away from my children and I. Why, chief? What have we done to you? What, what have we done? It's okay. All I've done was seek for peace. Yes, yes. I'm always for It's okay. Peace. She will suffer it for the rest of her life. I want to save it. Am I too okay? Just, 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 Barista, barista, Baba! Selfish desire, desperate measure. Desires, desperate measures. The weakness right? in the heart of men may I do prevail, right? but tomorrow <laughs> will come knocking on the door. The evil in the heart of peace. men may prevail. But tomorrow will come knocking someday. Oh, 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 oh. what you so you shall reap. Oh. Isabella, please forgive me. I, I am sorry. I was overpowered by anger. I have learned my lessons in a bitter way. Please, I beg you, forgive me, please. I will never get out of this regret in my entire life. Please, have mercy on me. Have mercy. Isabella, please. I, I forgive you. You will not get a death sentence. I miss you so much. Thank you so much. 
I missed you too. I missed you. Isabella, I love you. I can't stop loving you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Selfish desire Desperate measure Men may prevail, but tomorrow will come knocking someday. The evil in the heart of men may prevail, but tomorrow will come knocking someday. 